Beautiful day, Patriots. How are you? We're going to continue our Stan Asylum studies at the moment. Uh, when I was in the 80s, I had a job doing vending machines, and one of the locations was stopping at a hospital like this in San Diego, and I went into the actual mental mental ward and changed out the sodas and potato chips in those machines. Uh, to get into those, behind those locked doors, any key would work. And the people inside the mental institute didn't realize that any key would work. So they didn't ever try to find the key. In other words, they were being locked down by their own ignorance. Does that make sense? Any key would have unlocked the door, any key in the world, but they stayed locked in. Now what we're going to do is look at these, uh, look at how large these are. Uh, it, this is the one that kind of reminded me. This is what it looked like. But this isn't a sailor asylum, and it, does that not look like a mission? Eh? A mission? A sailor asylum? A sailor asylum? A sailor asylum? And what I was doing is, as I was going through these, uh, you know, here's Southwestern and Sailor Asylum in San Antonio, Texas. Look at this. This big old walkway walking right into Moloch. Right into Moloch's mouth. Right into Moloch's mouth. This would be a castle anywhere else, or a government building, or, uh, you know, a, a French chateau, a European castle, a government building in Brazil, uh, a cathedral in uh, Australia. But no, it's an assailant asylum right here in San Diego. And... One of the things that I was uh, talking about with these, you know, here's the Oregon State Penitentiary, I mean, uh, Insane Asylum. Look how big these are. Insane Asylums, Texas. What, what, what happened in America that there were so many people that were required to be put into these insane asylums of, of buildings this large? I mean, think about this. And as I was going through this, I was looking at one of them. I went to try to find it, and I couldn't. Uh, about one of the, oh, it's called the Patton Insane Asylum in Southern California. And the Patton one had a famous person that was in there. And her name was Betty Page. Betty Page was a famous pinup doll, you know, a stripper back in the day. And if you know about uh, Betty Page, she worked with Hugh Hefner, and Betty Page was a honeypot, and she knew all the politicians, and she knew many, many, many secrets, because she hobnobbed with all those, and she was used as a tool, and at the end of her life, they put her in a mental institute, an insane asylum. If people knew the truth, 99% would be put in the hospital. Here's people. And so we say there is only one story, two story, three story building, right? But here's the person's height. The person's height doesn't even make it to the bottom of the windowsill. So in reality, it shows one floor right here as we count it. But the height is more than a two story building. All the way up. Again, these huge, big things. Again, does this not look like Moloch? You're walking right down into a mental hospital. With the dome, with the pyramid, the all seeing eye. They all look the same, the columns. You would say that this is a state capitol building, but you'd be wrong. It's a mental hospital. Look at the size of these mental hospitals. Okay. This one here is kind of like, I don't know if it's going to be the same story, but I will talk about this. To get into a sale asylum, you can't just be, you know, forced in there. It has to be done by legal action, by the court of law. The court of law deems a person crazy or not, insane or not. And then the court says, you must go to this insane asylum, 
right? It's all going to be done legally, okay? Now, what's happening is that when we look and see the records of these insane asylums, of how many people have died within these places, and they're just given records of people dying. Who knows how many really died in these places? But they say then that they don't have records of the bodies that they find buried in these hospitals, in their, uh, you know, in the ground or in their uh, cemeteries, or as we looked yesterday, in jars. They were kept in jars. Here's Maryland. Maryland, you know, I mean, and then just abandoned. Look at the size of this building, and it's just banded. My point is, so to get into these mental hospitals, you have to be put in by the court of law, and that is a record, a paper trail record. And then they go into these insane asylums, and then they die, and then they get buried in the ground. And then when they get caught and say, look, at we found these dead bodies, we don't know who they are. How is that possible? The, the, the mental institute didn't keep track of the people coming in and then what happened to their lives and the progress. And then what, if they left or died within their own hospital, they don't keep records of that. These are slaughterhouses. When the Great Reset comes... Do not run to any building that looks like this. Do not run to your cathedrals. They're all the same. You think you know what an extermination camp looks like because they keep telling you that Germany had those extermination camps. But this is what they really look like during the Great Resets. You will run down this trail begging them for help, saying the zombies are after me, or the infections are after me, or I'm starving. Because you're crazy, because you're crazy and believe the narrative, you're going to run straight into these buildings that are going to be dubbed assail asylums. I mean, is that not a library? A government official building or any church? And, and think again at the time that these are being built or were. This building is 150 years old of what they say is the picture. And look how old the building is itself. When did it really get built? How many resets have we had in America? How many resets have we had in America? These are insane asylums, you guys. Southern, South Carolina, an insane asylum. I say that looks like a government official. It looks like a Roman Greek official building. Here's pictures of old time. Look at the size of this building. Oh, again, why do only the... Uh, mental institute shows smoke coming out of them in these drawings they don't have them in any of the other ones that is an assailant asylum state order you're telling me that's not a capitol building you're not you're you're telling me that that is not an official state capitol building or a castle Nope, you're right. I'm telling you that that is a mental hospital. Five abandoned southern asylums, including world's largest. They just walk away from these things? These look like plantation homes. These look like our capital buildings. That looks like a church. These look like Greek Roman Look at these prisons. Are you wanting to vote for a Republican or a Democrat? That is, these are state-funded, tax-funded dollars that run these things. Do you think this is a Republican and this one's a Democrat run? Or do you think it's run by the government that enslaves you and will put you in one of these things if you go against the government's words? There is a big list to 